Subscribing to me and shit. I fuck with that man. Got a good story for y'all today, man. Hey man, this shit is kinda it's kinda a depressing uh story time. Uh it, it hurt a lot. I mean what happened to me, man, I'll never forget it. Um shit was pretty fucking painful. Uh as you can still tell by the fucking title. Uh yeah. It was pretty motherfucking painful. And um by the way, we're, we're shooting in 4K by the way, so uh do you see my damn? My skin ain't clear at all. Oh, I'm ugly as a motherfucker. Oh, I'm ugly as a motherfucker. But shit. shit. Hey man, ugly niggas winning. Yeah. All right, let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get in my fucking to it. So uh, basically, what happened was, uh, so I was in college, right? And this girl, man, I knew she was a freak. This bitch was a fucking smut. I actually didn't know she was a hoe at first, uh, until I actually started texting her. So you know, I went up to her. Got her number, whatever, easy peasy, you know, cover girl. That way. Um, you know, I got her motherfucking number or whatever. And um, she looked stiff as fuck. I thought she was stiff. I didn't know she was a hoe at first. So I thought she was stiff the whole time. So, you know, she was texting me. She was like, you cute. Uh, I've been waiting for you to talk to me. Or whatever, yada, yada, yada. Shit basic bitches say uh, when they basically want the dick, but don't want to ask for it. They want you to, you know, approach them. And whatever. So, um, anyway, uh, you know, I was texting. And I can promise you, it only took me an hour or two to fuck this bitch after I got her number. Because uh, I lived on campus. She did it. So, she was like, um, can I come chill with you into my next class? I was like, yeah, sure. Go ahead. Come to come my room. You know, none of my roommates were there. So, it was going to be a pretty easy motherfucking finesse. So, you know, about 30 minutes passed after I told him to come through. I got that text like I'm down here, come sign me in. Cause at my college I went to, you had to sign people in to come into the dorm rooms. So she was like, come sign me in. And um, we're shooting in 4K by the way. I know I said that before, but damn, it's just clear as a motherfucker, man. My lips chapped as fuck. You know, you gotta sign people in and shit. So uh, I went down there, I was kind of ashamed cause she wasn't up to my, bro, I pull bad bitches, bro. Like, bro, I'm a fresh nigga, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, bro. I drive a motherfucking Mustang. I'm not to brag or anything, but I drive a Mustang, bro. I work hard for that shit, bro. I just like to dress, I just like to be fresh and pull bad bitches, whatever, get the money, whatever. So, um, but anyway, um, so I was kind of ashamed. I was like, man, this bitch ain't that bad. She decent though, she was cute. So I signed her in anyway, got to come in the dorm room. Uh, we finally get in the room. And she like, uh, so what you trying to do? Um, I think you're really cute. And I mean, whatever you're trying to do, we can go ahead and do that. Just let me know. I mean, shit, I mean, shit, I see you got them, you know, leggings <laughs> on and shit. You got a little ass. I can feel it. I, I can feel it. <laughs> yeah, you can. Shit, that shit jiggly. I, so I mean, much. shit. Take the motherfuckers off, man. You know what I'm okay. trying to do. Okay, okay. Come on, chill out. Come on. Are you ready, huh? Y'all see your little bow? Ready. Basically, I told her, you know, basically, I told her, you gotta suck my dick before we fuck, bro. I'm not fucking you without you sucking my dick. So, hey, she did it with no hesitation. You know, she was going in at first. I mean, it was decent. I had way better. But, uh, you know, she was doing her little thing, giving me the motherfucking bop bop, giving me that sloppy toppy. Uh, and then I, I started feeling something weird. I was like, yo, what the fuck? This, I swear to bitch give me head like this. I was like, yo, 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 chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. So she was like, what's wrong? I was like, yo, use less teeth, please. And she said, oh, I'm sorry about that. I was just getting into it. So I was like, bro, all right, just, just lick my balls. So, you know, I licked up my dick. And, you know, she started licking my balls and shit. And then she started sucking on my motherfucking balls. Like, I was like, yo, don't know. 
Yo, that. Oh, no. Can't do that. No. Look what's wrong this time. I was like, bro, you popping my. You fucking pop locking and dropping my balls and shit. Like, that shit hurt. You can't do that. Just, just keep sucking the head. Keep sucking the head. So she was like, all right. So she kept going. Just. First, she was doing it regularly. She was just. Then she just. I'm like, yo. I'm done. I'm, I'm done. Like, I literally looked at my dick on God, bro. On my motherfucking life, bro. I looked at my dick, bro. It had teeth marks. Bro, my shit was bruised for a week on God, bro. I couldn't even pull my pants up regularly because uh, it kept hitting my zipper. And it was so bruised, bro. It was fragile. Man, my mini me was fucking fragile. Man, my mini motherfucking banana was motherfucking fragile because of this motherfucking fucking toothy ass bitch fucking biting my motherfucking dingling and shit. Bro, I was pissed, bro. I was like, yo, just, I'm not in the mood for it no more. Just go, like, I'll walk you out. But you just, just, you just gotta go. Like, I gotta, I made it with you. I said, like, I gotta go to class. Like, you need to go. Like, let's, let's, <laughs> let's just go. So she was like, okay, um, well, I'm horny. She was like, I'm horny. I was like, look, I'm gonna hit you up later. Like, you just come back later if I get out of class. Of course, I was lying, but this bitch wasn't coming back. That shit hurt. That vampire ass bitch ain't sucking my shit again. The fuck, bitch, this ain't no Gogur bitch. You can't use your teeth to squeeze the motherfucking juice out. The fuck you thought this was? So, you know, I took her ass out. I was like, all right, you know, gave her a little fake hug. That bitch was like, sorry about what happened. Bitch, my shit still bruised. You need to buy me some motherfucking icy hot. The fuck? But, you know, I ain't cuss her out, man. I gave her the benefit of the doubt, man, because uh, she fucked a couple of my niggas, to be honest with you. After that, bro, she fucked a couple of my niggas. And I heard shit smell like tuna fish casserole and shit. I heard shit smell like fucking tuna tuna hamburger helper. You ever had that tuna hamburger helper? Like, it's not hamburger helper, but it's motherfucking tuna. Instead of beef, you use uh, tuna, and it's like tuna helper. What the fuck this shit called? Bro, I swear to God, bro. I went in the room after my niggas smashed her one day. Bro, that shit smelled like I was at fucking... The seafood market, or I was at fucking Oyster Bay. Shit smelled bad, but I'm glad I didn't have to, you know, I didn't smash or whatever. Uh, but I mean, that top was like on some real shit, bro. If a girl give me head and that shit sucked, I just assumed that her, her pussy sucked, bro. Like, I'm not gonna fuck you and your top is fucking trash. Like, it don't have to be good. It actually don't even have to be good. It just gotta be decent. It gotta be enough to make me go, damn, I just wanna see what this pussy like, like that. But if it's like, oh shit, what the fuck? If it's like that, you make me want to hit you in the back of your damn head. It ain't for me. It ain't for motherfucker. But shit, man, I fuck with y'all, man. I know I'm kind of late on these videos. Bro. I dropped another, I dropped a music video type shit. Uh, I'm just trying to dabble on everything. See what, a, see what I'm good at, man. See what I'm good at. But my subscribers are going up pretty, pretty nicely. I mean, it makes me, it makes me motivated because I was going to quit this shit. Because I'd be busy as hell. But uh, I like making niggas laugh, bro. I know, I know some of y'all probably been through a situation like this. Uh, some weird shit with a bitch. I know y'all probably been through some shit like that. So y'all probably can relate to me. Uh, and yeah, man, just subscribe to me, man. Fuck with me, bro. I got hella, bro. So much shit happened to me in my life, bro. Like, I'm, probably, I'm gonna have a story time about when I almost died. I almost died like twice. Uh, story time when shit almost got robbed. Story time about when I, uh, shit. All type of shit, bro. <laughs> like, hella story times, bro. Shit, when I jumped off a bill, bro. Hella story times, bro. Uh, just subscribe to me, bro. And, um, shit, y'all be the first ones to see it, man. So fuck with me, bro. I'm at like 95, 96 now. Get me to 100. Can I, can I get 100? Can, can I get 100? Fuck with your boy, man. I'm out. Catch me downtown with your bitch, with your wife. Round, round with your bitch, ayy. Why she always frowned up and shit, ayy. Wipe and shit. Make that all up on my dick, baby.